Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike from MNR Automotive. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the front grille from the 2023 GMC Canyon AT4. Okay, so let's pop the hood and see what we got. First things first, we're going to go ahead and take out these two screws on top to loosen the grille from the engine bay compartment. And then you're going to peel this back just to loosen it up. Next, the thing we're gonna do is go into the fender well. Go ahead and take out one, two, three, four, and then there's a couple more one, two, three, four inside, and we'll be able to remove the cover and get to all the bolts for the bumper itself. Next thing I wanna do is prop open the fender flares. And the only thing we're gonna do is just grab them and pry them open, you just held on clips. Go. and we're gonna go ahead and remove there's one more Torx bolt here and that's gonna separate the fender from the front portion of the grill the thing we lost this fender flare is held up on various clips so we did lose a couple inside so we're gonna go ahead and just pry them out because when we are reinstalling it it'll make it easier if it's inside the, the actual flare inside of the as opposed to the vehicle so we're going to take them out and then we're going to reinsert them into those grooves and there's three that ended up un unclipping pretty good okay. now we're going to go ahead and reach in from inside the fender well with a seven millimeter socket there's three bolts that we're going to loosen up and that's going to pull the, the mounting plate down so that way we can unclip and separate the potty panels. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove it and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about so that way you guys can see which three they are. But mainly what we're going to do, we're going to go in through here with a 7mm socket and we're going to loosen up these three bolts here. Now that we got this bolt loose, we're going to go ahead and pry this. So now we got this loose. And let's go on the other side and get it loose on the other end as well. Now we're going to go ahead and pry the fender flares out. And there's one more screw here that's also a Torx that we are going to remove in order to separate the two body panels. So same thing here, there's, there's a plate here and then there's gonna be three bolts and we have to loosen them in order to be able to separate and unclip this part of the bumper. And now we're going to lift and separate these two trims. See, if you pull on a little bit, it'll start unclipping everything around the headlights. Now that we have the side piece taken off, I want to show you what three bolts we loosened in order to get that piece from under the clips. We have one bolt here, one bolt here, one bolt here. These are seven millimeter bolts and you get in through the fender well. So you don't have to remove them completely. You just uh, loosen them a little bit so that way it pulls out and then you can unclip the, the sides. Now that we got everything on top and the sides unclipped, let's go ahead and remove some of the bolts on the bottom. So that way we can loosen it up before we take off the front end. The next thing we're going to do is remove the skip plate from the vehicle and it's a couple of bolts. One, two, three. And then also on the back, there's two more as well. So I'm going to get the front ones off first. This is a number 13 socket. Now we're going to get the, the two back bolts on the skip plate. So now we're going to go ahead and remove all the torque screws that are holding the bottom of the bumper to the vehicle as well. 
I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now there's three bolts that we have to remove. This is this is a nine thirty second socket, and we're gonna go ahead and remove these three on both sides. This is the passenger one, and then after this, I'm gonna do the drivers as well. I removed these three bolts using a nine thirty second socket, and equivalent to it is a seven millimeter. Now we're gonna do the same three bolts on the driver side and we're gonna see what else is holding it. So I see there's two more clips that are holding it here. Uh, it's actually not a clip, it's a, it's a ratchet bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. And there's bolts here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen them up. All right, one thing we're gonna wanna remove is the actual fog light assembly. There's a plug here on the passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and unplug it. You pull the, the red pin back squeeze and unplug. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two Torx bolts. And we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. There's a clip here and I just pr pried it out. And that's the only thing that was holding the grill back. Now we can go ahead and remove it completely. Thank you guys for watching. This is how you remove the grill from the new 2023 GMC Canyon AT4.